I'm here with Dr. Romano to do average velocity questions for the DAP. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgoman products, as well as the author of the DAP Destroyer books. I'm here today with Professor Blois. He was actually my professor in college and he's agreeable to do some videos for you guys for the DAT exam. So professor, if you can show us a really good problem, well, actually, I see you got three problems on average velocity. We'll yes. On it. Let, yeah, that's okay. what they are, average velocity problems. Professor Blois here. Let's read the first problem. Nora travels from home to work at 30 miles an hour, then rushes back home at 70 miles an hour along the same route. What is her average velocity of the round trip? Now, if we approach this hastily, you may make the hasty assumption that what's the average velocity? We'll add 70 to 30 to get 100 and divide by 2. 50 miles an hour, right? Not quite. And that, this is why it's important to do these, this kind of a problem, because we want to get the formula for average velocity. The formula for average velocity is the distance total the total distance over time total, the total amount of time that it took to travel that distance. Okay, so keep that in mind, it's total distance over total time. All right, now, what do we have? We don't have distance here. How far is it from Nora's home to Nora's work? We don't know, let's say it's D, but we know she travels the D two times, once from home to work, and again from work back to home. Now the total time, we're going to have time out and time back. Well, what are those values? We don't have those values either. Well, that's, this is where we come to this uh, equation. We know that distance equals velocity times time is pretty much the foundation formula for all these problems involving distance, velocity, and time. Here we want an expression for time. So from this expression, we're going to make a slight algebraic rearrangement. Time is distance over velocity. All right, so let's continue this problem. We don't know what the distance is at all. And we're going to divide it by, well, the time out travels from home to work at 30 miles an hour. That's the velocity. So express that in terms of time. It's going to be distance over 30 miles an hour, distance over velocity. The time back is going to be expressed in the same way, distance over velocity, same distance d, but the velocity this time is 70 miles an hour. So what do we have? We have this fraction 2d divided by d over 30 plus d over 70. So what we want to do is, how do we evaluate a fraction like this? We want to multiply numerator and denominator by the least common denominator of uh, all fractions involved, all the internal fractions. The LCD in this case, LCD is 30 times, uh, 210, 210, and that means I want to multiply numerator and denominator by 210. Okay, 210, 210, and what will that give us? In the numerator, that will give us uh, 420d, and in the denominator, 30 goes into 20, 210 seven times, so this is 7d, and 70 goes into 210 three times, that gives us 3d. So the fraction is then equal to 420d over 7d plus 3d is 10d, well, the d's cancel out. We didn't need the distance in the, in the first place. 420 over 10 is 42, and there is the average velocity. So it's not the average of just 70 and 30. We have to go through this formula for average velocity, total distance over total time. All right, let's go to the second problem. Same thing, average velocity. Let's read it together. Luna travels 120 miles at 90 miles an hour, and then an additional 60 miles at 30 miles an hour. What is her average velocity for the entire trip? Well, here, she, she's traveling different distances at different velocities. Same thing, the average velocity is going to be distance total over time total. All right, so let's proceed exactly as we did before. What's the, di the total distance? Well, that's very easy. She travels 120 miles and then 60 miles. 
120 plus 60. Now we're going to add the two times together, time one plus time two. Well, how long did it take her to travel those 120 miles? Remember this formula, time is distance over velocity. So it's a distance is 120, velocity is 90, and to that we want to add the time it took her to travel the second leg of the trip, the 60 miles at 30 miles an hour. That's going to be 60, which is the distance, over 30, which is the velocity. All we have to do is simplify this fraction, and that's our average velocity. Let's do that very quickly. This is going to be 180. Um, 12 over 9, 3 goes into 12 4 times, 3 goes into 3 to 9 3 times, that's 4 thirds. 60 over 30 is 2. 2 and 4 thirds, if I convert that to an improper fraction, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10, so that's 10 thirds, which is then equal to 3 tenths of 180. And the 10 cancels the zero there. Three times 18 is what? 8, 16, 24. Three, one, two, three, four, five. It's 54 miles per hour. That's her average velocity over the entire trip. Okay, and finally, this is like a little uh, problem that's thrown in. It's not average velocity, but it is related. Let's read it together. Zandy took 12 minutes to walk two sevenths of a mile. How long will it take her to walk the rest of the mile? All right, well, let's, how about we draw a little picture here, all right? So here is two sevenths of a mile. How much more does Zandy have to walk? Well, that would be five sevenths of a mile. So it took her 12 minutes to walk the first two sevenths of a mile. How long will it take her to walk the remaining five sevenths? Let's just set up a ratio. How about uh, 12 over two sevenths is equal to x over five sevenths. All right, and then we can do some cross multiplication, all right, cross multiplication to get two sevenths of x is equal to five sevenths of 12. And I think you can see the sevenths cancel out, multiply both sides by seven, and we'll get two x is equal to five times 12. 5 times 12 is 60, 2x equals 60, therefore x is equal to 30 minutes, and that's how long it will take Zandy to walk the remainder of that mile. So there are three distance velocity time problems. I hope you guys are impressed with what you, we just saw. That was absolutely, absolutely amazing. Oh, thanks. Um, the most blazing work I've ever seen. You can waste your time on a time test or do the material from Professor Blois and get these foundations built. Um, I don't think that one of the best MIT professors could have hit this problem any better. I'm flattered. Um, I'm flattered. You are absolutely brilliant, oh, Professor Blois. I hope you guys appreciate that Professor Blois, who was my teacher when I was in college, taught me all the math that I know. All right, I'll see you guys in study group. Good day to you. Bye-bye.